Stop in the name of love, she said. So we waited. Pulled the car over, I sell is breaking. I never found religion, but was born with freedom. I would call it now gypsy pop. I used to do more kind of like dance pop, but now I, um, I would generally call it gypsy pop, yes. I don't know where home is. I guess this is home for me. This is what I would call home. My mum still lives in this bus. But um, I do live in LA right now. But nothing is forever. I go with the wind. I think most of my inspiration, honestly, comes from the shit that I've been through. I definitely am a bit of a warrior. And uh, that's why I don't regret the bad times because they inspire my lyrics mostly. Everybody has their ups and downs. You know, I've had my fair share of downs, like I was homeless multiple times. Um, you know, I've had um, domestic violence growing up. I've had my fair share of drug problems. Um, but I think that makes me really appreciate the good times so much more, you know. Some people's success comes very easily and I guess they can take it for granted. I don't think anything has come easy in my life, so I definitely don't take anything for granted. I'm very appreciative for like the simplest things. Like I didn't even grow up with running water, so for me, like to be able to like turn a tap and like water comes out, I'm like, wow, this is magical. And like you push a button and it's hot instead of like we'd have to chop wood and make a fire. So it's like, yeah, I'm very grateful for the little things. I've been very lucky to work with some amazing people. I've been a fan of Sia for a long time before even America knew about her music. And then I got to collaborate with her, that was fantastic. Bruno Mars, he's great. Um, Imogen Heat was fantastic. Pink fields looking so good. Will I go home? I would just like to say, you know, she was just like the big sister I never had, and she's the most beautiful soul ever. And if only she could have taken care of herself, like she took care of everybody else. Find a way to kill pain. Yeah, that's the part that really sucks about the music industry is the feeling competition. It's like you feel like you're a stripper in a strip club, you know? It's like you're fighting for that one dude that walks in with money. And it's just like, I'm the kind of girl, like, I'd rather stand back and let everybody else fight for that. And I'll just think a way around it. Because I, I don't like that competition feeling, you know? I don't think anybody should have to go through that competitive feeling and feel like they're not as good as somebody else. It's actually going to be my first ever album. I've released EPs and singles, but never a full-length album, so very excited. It's like, I feel like when you listen to Eminem, you get to know him and his story, you know, he lets you into his world. And I think that's really important for an artist um, to kind of like bring people into your world so they feel like they know you. And so this album is really about that, you know. It's an adventure, it's a journey, and people will feel like they're on this journey with me. I think I'm dark. I, I think it's funny when people say that, but I feel like I I really love, like I obsess and I 